It's so eerie quiet here at nighttime. Hmm. Just love it. Can't hear a single thing except the nature. Perfect place to live. All right, today's a day. I've been sitting on this project all winter long, waiting for that ground to thaw out. Need to get it before I get into the field. I just want to do it. Now let's get out here and uh, feed Gina, but let's get to it. Grant's been telling me, Stevio, you got to eat the Wheaties every morning. I'm not too much of a Wheaties person. I'm more of a coffee person. I think hot coffee is the best drink of all. It is. Just it get it gets me rolling in the morning. Gets uh, coffee rolling here. All right, so I've been sitting on this project all winter long, just been contemplating it, and I think this might help with the irrigation here on our farm and maybe boost that yield a little bit. Oh man, look at that beautiful Ford. You know, I've been kind of collecting these uh, uh, vehicles. I mean, we got this one. We got our Dodge parked in here. I just can't end up getting rid of all these trucks. And there's my first Ford. Beautiful. I, I, I just can't trade them in. I don't know. I just keep collecting them. But we really need another truck i mean it's been like almost 10 years since we bought our last truck i mean that's due you i mean you gotta at least buy a new tr truck every 10 years i think that's kind of given i'm gonna be one of them old guys that somebody's gonna roll up on and find a whole bunch of uh, gems in the wee bro you know, rusting out or something like that because I, you know, I'm gonna be old, can't get around, can't keep up with them, and they're just gonna find them, clean them up, and make a lot of money off of them. I'm gonna be that person in like 50 years. All right, so first thing is first, got to do a little truck shopping. So we're gonna go head off to the dealer. Hopefully, I would say upgrade, but. I don't think I can get rid of this old, uh, this old Ford here. Man, do I like this Ford. We are going to get another vehicle, but, uh, this Ford, you know, it, it can now take it a little break, kind of, uh, semi-retire. I think it might be nice for it. We'll take, use another truck, the primary truck around the farm. All right, let's see what the dealership has for us. Looks like they have some of their old stock up here. Up here in front. And, oh yeah, there is some of their newer stock there in the back. Park over here. I think this is where you're supposed to park, but uh, they're gonna have to deal with it. And look what we have here well here's our new stock now look at this lifted thing that is uh, quite the three-quarter ton here got a roof rack roll bar with lights not really a fan of low pro tires i just think that they're a ride too rough and i don't really like the looks of them Got a, I, I like my rubber on my tires. Let's just say that. Not too bad. It's got a Duramax, if you can hear it. It's got a gauge up there. Engine gauge. Not too shabby. I think it's a little too orange for us. They, they kind of overkilled the orange. And I'm not a fan of them uh, rims and tires. Now, this is basically a shorty compared to the other one. So, yeah, this looks like a 
106, 103. I'm not positive on the front ends, the different models. So it does have an upgraded front bumper. Looks like you can, uh, that is a serious front bumper. Yeah, that bumper, you're not going to bend the bumper, you're going to bend the frame behind it. Let's see. Very nice. And I don't know if they uh, upgraded the turbo or exhaust. Just, I don't know, maybe it, it sounds a little different to me. Not a bad truck. Kind of like the rims. I, I, they are kind of low pros, but at least they're not, you know, chariot tires like that. It's, yeah, I could use a little bit more rubber on it. Gooseneck, three point or uh, drop hitch here. Yeah, I kind of like this old uh, truck. Definitely doesn't sit as high as that other truck does. This is a serious uh, option. And if you uh, kind of been watching some of my last truck selections, kind of like I'm sticking with red now. I don't know. Is red my new favorite color? We got blue here. So this is yeah, uh, another Duramax, I guess. Yeah, this is a just a regular body style. I don't know if this is a three-quarter ton, one ton. Doesn't really. It's not marked on the side there. Looks like it's a little bit of upgrades. Obviously, you got a front bumper here. You can hit a cow and not even be phased. Not even break a piece of plastic. Looks like it has uh, stock Goodrich and rims here. Uh, cab lights. Not too bad. You know, it's another option. We've got a Cummins here. Now, that is a lot of green. A lot, a lot of green. Do like the front uh, move bumper it has here. Man, they even, even the suspension on the bottom is green. That is a whole lot of green. Uh, we do have a little bit more uh, tread. Or, I mean, we do have a little bit more rubber, so it's not exactly low pros. What is that? Probably like an 18, maybe? Uh, it might be a 20 inch rim. Drop hitch, gooseneck. Is that a long bed? Kind of looks like it's a long bed to me. It looks like it has the smoked uh, light covers. It is a good looking truck. Man, that is a whole lot of green, though. Don't know if I can get over that much green. Listen to the difference in... Oh, yeah. I have to say, Cummins, that, that sounds way better than all three of them other Chevys. I like this truck. Like the rims. Three-quarter ton... Looks like it has a fuel tank in the back, drop hitch, gooseneck hitch, the dirty Halo Max. Halo Max, I think that says. I can't really say because you have that uh, window guard there. Looks like it has a uh, has LED light too. I like how it's cut out so you can actually see that uh, rear brake light there or bed light. I like the front bumper. I mean, that's another bumper. If you get in a car wreck, you're just going to crumple your uh, your frame, not the bumper. I just kind of like the simplicity. It's it's red. They did do a few options to it. You got cab lights. Interior looks good. Black leather. A little bit of accent on it. Oh yeah, now that's how a Dirty Max is spoke to sound. Oh man. I think, I think this is the truck. Alright, so now that I got my truck, got to go pick up my trailer.
So, I mean, when you buy a truck, you got to automatically do your first project with it. Oh, this is a 20 foot drop bed trailer here. Gooseneck. So, we're gonna use this for a little landscaping. I mean, I, I get it, you know, goosenecks and everything. It'd be really hard if you use this for grain. I mean, that's a lot of weight for a truck for grain. I'm not saying the Dirty Max can't do it, but ooh, that'd be a lot of weight. So we are pulling up to Grant's house here. I'm really hoping he's forgiven me. Basically, uh, almost... Uh, completely burying his uh, new John Deere he bought. Uh, hoping to borrow his uh, new bobcat he uh, purchased. Don't know. Let's see if he's around here. Uh, here we go. What the heck is he doing? Was he uh, testing out his... Uh, skid steer over here? Huh. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, got some project going on over here. Well, man, he left his seat out? That is not good. Not good. So this is the turbo. We got the turbo 863. He reluctantly allowed us to borrow it. I'm gonna use his little uh, grapple attachment here. He has. Yeah, he, he basically said uh, he found mud underneath his cab. He didn't even know that it was openings where he found all the mud, so. Yeah, he, he wasn't too happy about that, but. Uh, oh, 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 don't want to fall off this thing. Very carefully get this thing loaded up. There we go. Alright, we are headed off. Alright, time to get to work. Got Jeremy's place here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't back up straight, that's for sure. Alright, we are at Jeremy's place. We are going to, uh, basically, he's going to give us his uh, rock pile here. A big old rock pile. Uh, start picking up some of these rocks. Let's see how many rocks this old uh, bobcat can take here. Uh, 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 nope, nope, can't do that. Let a few out, I guess. Can it, can it pick it up? Oh. Rocks are not light whatsoever. Ooh, oh, yeah. Do a little teetering. It's like playing on the playground teeter totter. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh yeah. I have a mission to get this in the back of this bed. All right. Very carefully. Whew. Yeah. Easy does it. Dump these rocks in there. Oh, man. All right, I got a different bucket, and it's working way better. The other bucket's just too heavy for this old girl. There we go. Definitely got a lot of rocks to move. Uh, my plan is to basically make some type of irrigation ditch. Uh, basically use some of the water that basically flows down. Stop it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, too many rocks there. 
There we go. Got them all. Oh, almost had three there. All right, I got that trailer way, way overloaded. I even uh, tipped one of the rocks over here. I'm going to try to pick up. Rocks ain't the easiest. Uh, 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 uh. Scooted right out of there. Uh, screw it. Yeah. Trying to pick up these rocks. I get it. You know, this is way overweight for a gooseneck trailer. I already know. I know you guys are going to blow me up below. Trying to pick up just a few more rocks. Uh, get in there. Get in my bucket. I think that'll do it. This trailer is so overloaded. You can see back over there, we already have a few rocks already uh, put over here. So this is like our third load we've moved over. Try to move this over. Uh, probably have to do a lot of rock landscaping. All right, we're going to push some of these rocks over here or try to uh, use an old uh, deer here. Basically get as many as we can. Almost got this built up enough here. Still need a few more rocks. Oh, come on, deer. Get her done. Yeah. There we go. Almost got her. Got a few stumps in my way right here, which is not really helping my progress. Just got a few more rocks to move around here. Oh, oops. There we go. Uh, push these over here. Try to get this as best as looking as possible. Ugh. So... I think our rock dam is working for the most part. If you can tell, it is stopping the water. The water is getting pretty high here. Ooh, yeah, so it is holding the water back nicely. So uh, at least this will prepare us. Uh, I did, so you can see right on the top here, this will allow the water to flow. So once it gets past here, it will flow down the river, but the rest of it will be able to use for irrigation for fields here. So if it is a dry year, we might end up, uh, you know, needing this uh, water. So I don't want to get rid of it. And two, this is kind of prevents some dang beavers from making the dam for us and uh, screwing up this whole area. They make it, then they make it too big it floods this whole bottom ground and uh, we have problems the neighbors have problems we have flooded land we have uh, harvesters underwater if you remember that but I think we were I mean you got to be careful walking across these because they, they kind of get some uh, it's pretty rocky I still have a few more rocks to move over here but uh squad's bobcat worked pretty nicely i did end up using that 4050 a lot just because uh you know this this bobcat it's a little bit too small so it it needed that extra 4050 uh power but thank you all for watching and i will see you next time over here in the 2000s Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. You ever borrow something you just never want to return? Yeah. I kind of feel in this way with this little bobcat. Think Grant will notice? Uh-oh. Got stuck. Make sure like the video. Thank you all. Save a ton at Apex Gaming. Just use the code squad. Later.